Okay, you got the factory transmission cooler lines coming out right here, and you see the, um, the bezel piece right here, you're gonna slide the hose up over the top of it, and it has to make sure it gets past there, that way when you put the clamp, um, it doesn't wanna pull off. If it's not flared at the end, do not use it. So you wanna slide the hose up, a little twisting motion right here. Gotta get it past the flared portion. Remember, if you cut a transmission fluid line, uh, it's not gonna have a flare, and then the, if you just put a clamp on it, it's gonna come off, catch on fire, you're gonna have a major problem. Okay, so now I'm gonna put the clamps up, slide them up here, secure them, quarter inch drive nut driver, and it has to be above the flare, of course, and do not over tighten the clamp. If the clamp at the very end, when you're tightening it, clicks, you've just stripped the clamp, you're gonna need a new clamp. Don't take any chances, tighten it, don't over tighten it, okay? Let's get the other side, slide it up, you can feel with your thumb right where the uh, flare's at, tighten it up, don't over tighten it, get there, real simple. You just gotta pay attention to what you're doing. So, finish tightening up. Check the other one. Okay, now let's route the hoses. So, the hoses already have the ends on them. So now we just slide those up. Grab the hoses, route it behind the radiator core support here. And in just a second, I'll show you from the front side. But we're just routing them forward real easy. Nice, clean, pay attention to what's around it. Slide them both up to the front. All right, got one, let's get the other one. All the way up there, not tight and not loose, you know, just route them through just right. You got them up front, and you're going to see they're too long, but we're going to show you exactly uh, the reason for that. Okay, so they came in through the bottom, all right, both hoses came straight up right through the side along the bottom. Okay, we're good. Now, they're too long. They're going to route kind of too long, route around like a coil like this, one for the bottom and one for the top. Like We've got our transmission cooler lines ran, and I wanted to show you the routing of those. I got one coming down, it went, they both went through the bottom, both came out this way. All right, I routed one backwards, under the bottom support here, around the top. Now. The hose we're going to put through is going to go right through there, so it's going to go on the outside of that, okay? So it's got plenty of length, so it can just stay back like so, and that's pretty much where it's going to mount. The other one is going to do the same thing, it's basically going to S-curve back, stay right there, all right? And when we're done, it's going to look like that. All right, so let's attach these hoses and go from there. If you remember from before, it's got a flared end, so there's absolutely no Teflon tape used. Now I'll leave these a little loose, and I'm going to tighten them after, that way they can rotate as I put it where I want it. And I'll tighten them afterwards. These are push through ties. So when it goes through here, all the way up the other side, and it's like a zip tie, we'll put a little cap on. We'll trim these back on the back side. I put these on the bottoms where I put these. All right, it's all the way through. Keep it nice and level. And all the way through the other side. And right, we'll reach back there, it's touching the shroud, move it there, and pull it through. All right, and then I check my routing, I'll make sure this is going to go all the way through and up. Okay, it looks great for going through there. Tighten these up, I'm going to pull this through and put the back zip ties, and that's it for a trans cooler. Very simple. Got my zip ties through, hose is routed. I'm just going to tighten these here. 
and we'll be good to go. I want to tell you that on the bottom is where we want the two zip ties. The tight, the top will be very tight. So you just use two zip ties on the very bottom, okay? So that way it doesn't reduce the clearance because they'll be tight, they'll actually be touching. Um, very tight in the front grill to fit this oversized intercooler. Let me show you the two zip ties. The two zip ties will be down at the bottom. Okay, not up here, you don't need more. You're gonna see in a minute, this is all gonna be together. All right, got these pushed through. Put the zip ties, put the, put the clips on the back side, then I cut off the excess, and that's it.